Hey kids, welcome to Unit 4, Lesson 7, the math class, exercise number 2. We're going to write the method a prompt for a number to prompt the user to enter a number and return a number entered. We have a note, don't forget to close the scanner object and receive the user's input. And then we're going to write the method get absolute value to return the absolute value of the parameter number using the math ABS method. So this lesson, kids, looks like it is reinforcing that math absolute that we learned about in exercise one and asking us to recall some of our scanner class knowledge. That doesn't sound too hard. Let's look at our code. We're creating a new integer user value, and that is from the math prompter class, and it's calling the method prompt for number. Then we're printing off the absolute value math prompter get absolute value the method we're going to write and we're passing along the user value let's look at math prompter we're importing our scanner class we have a public method here prompt for number and that's opening up a scanner this looks like the first thing we have to write then we have another public method and this is get absolute value and that's the second one we have to write well, this isn't too hard, kids. Let's take care of number one. Write the method for prompt for number. First off, we have to ask the user to enter a number. So let's do system.out.println. And let's ask the user, enter a number. After we do that, we have to create a variable to store that number. So int number is going to be equal to our input from our scanner class up here and that's going to be our next int which is just reading the line of code for an integer after that we have to close our scanner class so input dot close and what do we want to return we want to return whatever the user entered that's not zero well that's a number I think that takes care of number one. Let's take care of number two. For this one, we're getting a number passed along and we just want to return the absolute of that. We don't want to return zero. What was our method for absolute? It was math.abs. It took one parameter, which was a number. Well, that's what's getting passed along. So that's math.abs. And we want to run whatever number is being passed along. Well, that's it, kids. Let's head back to my console. We don't have anything to do here. When I hit run, I should be prompted for a number to enter. When I enter it, I should get the absolute value, as long as it's an integer. If it's a double, I'm going to get an error. Let's hit run and see if we're right. Enter a number. Let's do negative 2. Absolute value is 2. Let's try that one more time. Let's try a double negative 2.2. We get an error in compatible data types. So the method we wrote is just for integers. Key takeaway from this lesson is reinforcing and understanding the math class. This time we use the integer to get a absolute value of that integer. This could easily be converted to a double if we wanted. Hopefully this video helped you understand the math class a little better. As always, if you have any questions, uh, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later kids, bye, bye.